If you want to know how to reconstitute a vial of tessamorelin and impamorelin, then stay tuned to this video because I'm going to be going through each step that you need to reconstitute that vial. I'm Brian Burke and I'm the founder and CEO of Rewind Anti-Aging where we help our clients optimize their hormones. Tessamorelin is a very popular uh, product at the moment because it helps your body produce and release more growth hormone. It's actually defined as a growth hormone releasing hormone. In this case, it's combined with ipamorelin, which is a growth hormone releasing peptide. Both of these products combined uh, form a synergistic relationship and they help you to recompose your body by adding lean muscle and the reduction of visceral body fat. In the case of mixing this vial, we need a couple different ingredients. We actually need the vial, uh, which comes lyophilized, so there's a powder uh, which contains the substance. We then need a dilutant, which in this case is bacteriostatic water. Um, we also need a mixing syringe. Uh, sometimes we require a large mixing syringe like this. Uh, in this case, we're not going to be mixing that much, so we can get away with a little bit smaller uh, mixing syringe and needle. And then also we need uh, alcohol uh, prep pads because we always want to uh, clean off the top of these vials to make sure that uh, they're clean. So the first step is to remove the top of both vials. We then want to take the alcohol wipe and we want to make sure that we get the top of the vials to be uh, clean. Some people um, you know, don't like doing this, it's an additional step, but we always advise to always clean your vial before any type of injection or any type of uh, mixing. We then take the uh, syringe and needle, and this is where you're gonna have to follow the directions of your uh, pharmacy and or your physician's office for the a proper amount of dilutant to mix. In this case, it's a very small vial, so I'm only mixing a one ml. So you can see I've drawn the water down to the one ml mark. I always like to inject into the vial at a uh, angle so that the water goes towards the uh, side of the vial as these are fragile compounds. Oftentimes the water will just get removed directly out of the uh, syringe because there's a vacuum. I like to depressurize the vial, so I often just remove the needle tip and then I take it out so the, the vial has been uh, depressurized. I then take a look and I see how the uh, powder is being mixed up into the vial. And you basically don't want to shake these vials because they're, these are fragile compounds. So it's always suggested to more uh, mix like a glass of wine. Uh, I live in Miami and people down here are used to shaking bottles of champagne and going crazy uh, partying. But uh, you definitely don't want to do that with this vial. You want to swirl it more like a nice glass of wine and you want to be very gentle. You then take a look at the vial and you make sure that there's no uh, powder residue remaining. And you have now properly mixed the vial of uh, tessamorelin and impramorelin. The next uh, step that you would be taking would actually be uh, injecting this compound. And so you would be injecting it with an insulin syringe. Uh, the insulin syringe comes with unit marks. So they're 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And you would basically just fill the syringe and then you uh, typically would inject it into your uh, belly fat. Some people like to inject it into their, uh, into their back fat. But anyway, this is a very simple process. A lot of people uh, can become confused or a little bit nervous at first. So we like to put out these educational videos so that people can understand that it's a pretty simple process, pretty straightforward once you get uh, used to it. Um, so I'm gonna end this video with a uh, request. If you like this video, smash the like button, follow our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook because we're gonna be putting out a lot more uh, health-related content. I'm Brian Burke and I'm the CEO of Rewind, and I will catch you at the next episode.